Hey and welcome back. And this whole Beirut bomb thing, I'm learning because of you as much, hopefully, as you're learning because of me. And one of the questions that a number of viewers have asked me is, hey, Professor, what's that thing with that mushroom cloud? Isn't it nuclear? No. So what exactly was that big white cloud that formed before the shockwave hit people? Well, I also had to research how they form and even what they're called. The classic mushroom cloud or pressure wave cloud that we see after both a conventional or nuclear explosion, in fact, any explosion given enough magnitude is called a Wilson cloud. And what Wilson clouds really need are humid air because it's about a pressure differential, a sudden pressure change. So this is what happens after a conventional or nuclear explosion. The shockwave makes a rarefication of the surrounding air. And this rarefication causes a sudden cooling of the atmosphere. And due to this cooling, you get condensation and the white cloud appears. Suddenly the water vapor in the air condenses and after it dissipates, so does the cloud. It effectively brings all the air above the explosion to its dew point. So dew point is where dew forms on the grass in the morning and it's where the liquid water vapor held in our atmosphere condenses onto something cooler, like a blade of grass. So how did it get its name? A Wilson cloud. Oh, this is a great story. In 1946, at the notorious Bikini Atoll, one of the early US tests saw this condensation cloud for the first time. And one of the scientists said, it looks just like the clouds you see in a Wilson cloud chamber. Wilson cloud chambers are devices to see subatomic particles moving. So the Wilson cloud will form above an explosion, but it's still not a mushroom cloud. A mushroom cloud is where the Wilson cloud raised up on a stem of superheated gas. So effectively you've got gas and a mushroom top of the Wilson cloud. And you can see this super quick Wilson cloud condensation appearing in other places, such as a pressure change in a jet aircraft engine. Take off on a passenger jet, as we all used to do, and look at the engine inputs on a misty, humid day anywhere in the world, and you can see streamers of what looks like white vapor going into the engine. That's just because it's drawing out the moisture from the air Wilson vapor. And one of the most dramatic Wilson vapor manifestations is this, an aircraft going supersonic. Look at the cloud above its wings. So thank you for forcing me to do that research because I really didn't know some of that. And I like to share things with you because the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.